children. How are you this Sunday morning? Glory be to the name of the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. We'll rejoice and be glad indeed. So children, we are about to start the service. Can we close our eyes for prayers? Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we worship you, we exalt your name, we glorify you, you are worthy of praise, worthy of honor, worthy of all adoration. Father, as we go into the service this morning, we ask that you glorify your name in our life, in the life of your children, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, Lord God, at the end of this service, let all praise and honor be ascribed unto you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Us, you have shielded us, you have provided for us, you have blessed our parents, blessed our friends and our teachers. Lord, we say thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, Father, we come to learn at your feet by your Holy Spirit. Please teach us in Jesus' name. Amen. Encourage us, Lord, strengthen us, heal us, Lord, set us free. 
and save us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, please let your hand be upon us in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you because you're a good God. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Today we want to go on with um, our revision. And a quarter revision. So who can remind us the topics we have treated in the last um, four or five weeks? Divine, can you remind us what are the topics you remember? Act of, Act of prayer. Act of prayer. Act of prayer and home training. home training. Please clap for him. Act of prayer and home training. So, victory. What are the topics you remember? Cancel the sheep and self discipline. Cancel the sheep and self discipline. What about you, Francis? What about teasing? Water baptism and Holy Spirit for yourself. Holy Spirit baptism. So, if we want to talk about acts of prayer, what do you know about how do you, how should you pray? How should you, can you tell our, our children out there how should you pray? The first thing how we pray, we praise. You praise our God. Oh, we start our prayer by. Giving thanks to God, praising Him. What else do we do when we are praying? We worship Him. You worship Him, eh? Good. We, we tell Him, we confess our sins. We confess our sins. So we do praise, worship, confession of sin. How do you know that we have sinned? Because we used to do some, we used to do bad things. <laughs> we used to do bad things. Look out there. All the thoughts in your heart, so God sees it too. So don't say that uh, God does not see you. Every thought you have in your heart, whether it is clean or dirty or impure, God sees it. So when we are praying, we are reminded that we should confess our sins. You cannot say, I've not done anything bad though. What about your heart? What about that thing that you are doing somebody and you are eyeing the person like this? Eh? And your mind is say, if I get you, if I get you. So we should always remember to confess our sins. The Bible says God is, is a just judge. If we confess our sins, he will be faithful to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. The next thing we do when we are praying is what? We, after the confession, we cannot tell God what we want. What we want, and that's what they call supplication. So now, what do you want God to do for you? We want to ask God now. Uh, yeah. God will give you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Amen. Eh? Amen. I want God to give me retentive memory and retentive memory and briefs of my exam. Eh? Yeah? Success in the exam. Nobody wants car. Nobody wants boots. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants my you to win. Okay. What about you? I want to be the best in my class. Hey! Please clap for this children. <laughs> okay. Children, what do you want? Everybody, close your eyes and tell God what you want. Because we have to learn to pray. First of all, we say, Father, we thank you like we started. We are blessing you. Then we ask you, please forgive us. Any sin in our lives, anything at all, disobedience to parents, lying, cheating, stealing, watching bad movies, Father, we are sorry. Please forgive us, O oh Lord. Taking things that don't belong to us, O oh Lord God Almighty. Talking evil about other people, gossiping. Those are bad things. And God is saying that if we have sin our hearts, He will not hear our prayer. But Lord, we ask for mercy today. And as we have asked for mercy, God has heard and forgiven us in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Let's now ask Him, Lord, I want you to give me wisdom, knowledge. Those of us that want success in the exam, let's ask Him. Open your mouth and say, Lord, I want you to give me wisdom, knowledge, understanding. I want to be the best in my class. I want to be the president of Nigeria. I want to bring a change in my community. I want to be the one that will speak your word and people will be healed. I want to heal the sick for you. Give me power. Ask God anything you want to ask him. Ask him now. He's able to do all the Bible says he can do exceeding abundantly 
much more than what we ask or imagine, according to the power that works in us. Ask him also that God give me your Holy Spirit. I don't want to live a reckless life. I want to live a holy life, and I can only do that by the Holy Spirit. Ask him, ask him, ask him. Father, we thank you. Let us ask him even for Nigeria, that Lord, please bless this country. Please heal Nigeria. Please deliver Nigeria. All the children all over the world, even in Nigeria, Father, save their souls. Deliver them from evil. Don't let any captivity or kidnapping come to them in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Amen. So we go straight to cancel the ship. Hmm. How do we cancel the ship? By teaching them. By teaching. Who is the ship, sir? Who is ship? Man. Uh, we, are we are the ship. Is it the man? <laughs> <laughs> is it the goat? <laughs> we are the sheep of Christ. Why we say we are the flock? God is the shepherd. God is the shepherd. So how how do we cancel the sheep? By teaching them. Uh -huh. By guiding them. By guiding them. By comforting them. Comforting them. That's cancelled. You are using cancelled. You are using the same word. Mm -hmm. What about how we direct them to walk in the narrow way? Yes. So that they don't follow evil friends. Follow bad friends. Watch bad movies. So who are those that can cancel the ship? Who are those? Oh, parents can cancel us. Holy Spirit can cancel us. Uncles and aunties can cancel us. Teachers can clap for you. Ah, I have a wonderful class with you. Beautiful children. So, let me just ask you, how does the Holy Spirit cancel us? Holy Spirit. Have you seen him before? But he lives in your heart. You know. Okay, so, how does he cancel you? He can send anyone to come and help you. He can you. ask anybody to help you. But what about you? He doesn't send anybody. What he, about you? It's okay. Wait. Huh? If you forget a little. If you are looking for something, you pray. Holy Spirit will show you that thing. If you lost anything, even when you are reading, you can be in an exam. You forget. Ah, I forgot to. What is? What is? What is it of you to peep and do your neck like this, like giraffe? You ask Holy Spirit, please come and He will remind you those things. And maybe something is about to happen. You are sitting with a group of people and they are planning to go and do party. Holy Spirit can remove you from there. Just, just leave, leave, leave this place. So he can help us to show us the right way. When you are confused, or somebody comes to tell you a bad thing, or something that will make you to make a wrong decision, Holy Spirit will say, don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. This is the right way. When we are reading the Bible also, he can cancel us. Have you? He can use the word of God to teach us what to do. Let's say we are afraid. You know, Holy Spirit can comfort you and come and say, don't worry. Fear not. Good. So, our next topic is home training. Hmm. What does it mean to have home training? What we do at home. <laughs> what we do at home, yes. Home training. Like what? Give me an example. Perfect, perfect. Have respect. In this Africa, we like to have respect. I don't know about other countries. When you don't greet people, they say you don't have home training. You see somebody just must. You see an elder person, maybe an uncle or aunt. You wake up in the morning, you don't greet your parents. They say you don't have home training, or you 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 are you don't know how to to cut see. Ask please, you know, be humble. Everything you want, give me. Give me, give me. They are always shouting at people. Always rude. Always, you know, um, saucy, disrespectful, talking anyhow. The person does not have home training. Okay. Even in the dressing. When you get home, your room, when we check your room, we can find whether you have home training or not. Bag here, shoe there, socks here, everywhere is scattered. Even in the classroom. I'm looking for my pen, looking for my Bible, looking for my. everything. When class is about to start, oh, hey, where's my, my science book? Oh, where's my math book? No, you don't have organization at all. That person doesn't have home training. Yeah, pray. Not pray. Keep your things well now. How can you come back from school? You dump your bag in the, in the toilet, and tomorrow morning you're looking for it. Eh? You went to go and weave, you forgot your bag there. You are doing homework. You finish your homework on your table. You didn't pack your books and put them in the bag. You don't know you're going to school tomorrow. Eh? You finish eating. Who will pack your plate for you? Nanny. 
has girl. Eh? Boku? You come back from school, you are very, very tired. You now lie down on the sofa. Then your shoe is there on your feet. When you, want to go, when, you want to go, when you want to go to sleep, you now carry the shoe and enter your bed. What will happen to the bed? It will be dead you know? So home training is when we have all these qualities. Again, as somebody who is well, well trained at home, you must be kind. Be generous. Be honest. Be honest. Be humble. Have good hygiene. Be humble. Now that we are doing uh, COVID-19, Keep your environment clean and keep yourself clean. They say wash your hand all the time. You will not wash your hand. You will talk, touch dirty thing. You put it in your mouth. Person is inviting sickness now. Excuse me, ma'am. One girl in my class. If you fall something on the floor, she will carry it and eat it again. Oh, home training. <laughs> if you are eating biscuit or, or meat and the thing falls on the ground, what do we do? We pick it and rub it on our cloth like this. Bam! Inside your mouth. <laughs> That's not good. At least we can wash it. Isn't it? We can wash it. Okay. So the next thing we are talking about in our revision is uh, water baptism and Holy Ghost baptism. So frankly, help us. What is water baptism? Water baptism is when you baptize someone with water. With water. Is it if I come and carry a cup of water and pour your head? No, how is it done? You dip the person inside a running river or pool or water, eh? To show that Christ was Christ was died, eh? Christ has died, and then Christ is raised up again in that person. Amen. Let's clap for him. That's water baptism. What about Holy Ghost baptism? Holy Ghost baptism is when the Holy Spirit baptizes you. Baptizes you with fire. When the Holy Spirit baptizes you with fire, the Bible says in the book of Acts, Acts chapter 2, that when Jesus had died and gone in to heaven, he said they should wait for him in a particular place in Jerusalem, the upper room. He says on the day of Pentecost, eh, there was a sign, a mighty rushing wind. And then in that in that uh, upper room where they were sitting, there was a a, a, a sign that came upon their head, cloven tongues of fire was sitting upon their head, and each one was now beginning to speak in other languages. Everybody could hear other people's language. Abi, that is the sign of Holy Ghost baptism. That's when they receive power from above. Because Jesus said, we stay here until you receive power so that you can be my witnesses. If you don't have power of the Holy Ghost, you cannot go and preach outside. When you get there, the devil can shake somebody. But that water baptism makes us to know that we are members of Christ now. We have died with him. We have been raised up with him. Then when we are baptized with fire, we can go out and minister in his name. He says that this sign shall follow them that believe. In my name they will cast out demons. They will heal the sick. They will raise the dead. They will begin to do signs and wonder. And that Holy Spirit baptism also makes us to have a sign. The Bible says all of us have a sign, a mark. We have been sealed. Satan cannot touch you. He knows. Have you heard of the testimony of people when they kidnap them, they go to a, a bush and they want to cut, cut their head and the evil priest will say, Who got this one here? Take her, take her, take her. Ah, this one has the mark of Christ. All of us that are baptized in the Holy Ghost have the mark of Christ and so nobody can touch us in Jesus' name. Amen. So everybody should desire to have the infilling of the Holy Ghost so that we can do the assignment God sent us here to do. The next thing we want to talk about here is self-discipline. What does it mean? Mm, yeah. Have self-control. Yes. When you are eating, every time you see food, you see food. Do you have self-control? No. Every time, movie, 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 watch, 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 watch TV. Do you have self-control? No. Self-discipline has to do with self-control. The Bible says we should be moderate in all things. Anything we are doing, we should do it with moderate. Even in talking. Self-discipline. Sometimes you just shut. Hold your mouth. When we were small, when children were small, they say, hold your lips. Hold your lips. They will shut up. Otherwise, they can talk from now to tomorrow. Eh? Anything you are doing, you do it with moderate, sure. sure. Apart from being in the presence of God. Then the last, um, okay. Uh, that's our last topic for this um, quarter. We want to ask ourselves one question. Just one question. In all of this that we have talked about, 
as the sheep of Christ. Sheep. As the sheep. You know we are the sheep. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. We are the sheep. Which one of them do you think is most important? Is it self-discipline? Is it home training? Is it cancelling the sheep? Is it water baptism and the Holy Ghost baptism? Is it uh, cancelling the sheep? Why do you think so, Divine? You are the sheep, and so <laughs> okay. Let's go for the guy. That is his own answer. This is the one that he thinks is most important for him. Okay, what is your own that is most important? My thing is really simple because when um, when you are the as you are the sheep, since with the Holy Spirit we have the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit teaches us, guides us, comforts us, and all the other all the other subjects, all, they relate. They they come under. Okay, she also agrees that it's cancel. The sheep that is the most important. What do you say? Is the same thing. Let's clap for ourselves. So, children, we have come to the end of our teaching today, and we have learned that counseling the sheep is one of the best. It just wraps up everything together. Water baptism is under it. Uh, Self discipline is under it. Home, uh, home training is under it. Act of prayer is under this topic. So, as we go on to the next quarter, we must be ready. To learn under Christ. Amen? Amen. So shall we close our eyes as we pray now? Let's ask God. Father, Father, let's pray. Father, Father I ask you, I ask in the name of Jesus, name by your Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit let, me receive wise counsel. let me receive wise counsel. I don't want to receive counsel from bad people. I don't want to receive counsel from bad people. Or bad friends. Or bad Separate friends. me Separate from me. evil counselors. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you for your children. We bless your name today. Thank you for a wonderful service today. Father, we pray that Lord, you will guide us, cancel us, direct us, lead us, even unto eternal kingdom in Jesus' name. Yeah. All of us will not be found wanting, oh God. None of us will be found wanting. And all the children that are watching, oh God, that have joined us, Father, please, deliver us from evil counsel in Jesus' name. Yeah. Guide us safely to your eternal kingdom in Jesus' name. Yeah. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Yeah. Amen. Hello children, it's offering time, blessing time. So let's raise an offering unto God. You can tell mommy to give you offering. So let's put our offerings together and let us pray. You can raise it up as you pray. Father, in Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for all that you've done for us. Thank you for providing for us, oh God. Accept our offering in Jesus' name. We pray you bless us the more in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you have answered our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Let's say bye-bye to our friends. Bye-bye. God bless you. Bye-bye.